he is one of the most successful artists of our generation, if not in the history of mankind. His music is known for its catchy melodies, smooth flow, and relatable lyrics. Drake, 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 Drake Aubrey Graham, Aubrey Drake Graham, a man who needs no introduction. Today, we will be going over a step-by-step -step process of how Drake creates his music. Make sure to stick around until the end because I got nuggets of footage throughout the video and a bonus tip at the end. Step one, inspiration. Drake often gets inspiration from his own experiences, including people and places around him. That's what makes him so relatable. He told me something really important one day. I told him, I said, how do you find those thoughts so quick? He said, it's not about making things up. You don't have to worry about making things up. If you're really writing from an honest perspective, your thoughts are in there. You just have to locate them. He talks about his past love, his struggles growing up. Even though he grew up in a middle class household as an actor, everybody still has struggles, okay? I like. I know a lot of people like to give him crap for saying he started from the bottom, but he truly did start from the bottom in the music industry. Hey. In my old phone. Step two writing once drake has an inspiration he begins writing lyrics and he's very hands-on lyricist he likes to be a part of the whole creative process like if it's not quality product who cares you we can tell you know like it's like it maybe if you took the time to write your, sh your shit would be a little better i don't know if that ghost writing allegation was true but you know what if trippy red sang one of drake's songs you know it wouldn't hit the same vice versa so Sometimes the lyrics are more fitting for one artist and having a ghostwriter isn't necessarily an issue. All these top artists have ghostwriters. Ed Sheeran has written many songs for other people. Taylor Swift has written songs for many other people. So if everybody's doing it, there's not really an issue in my eyes. I should call one and go home. Step three, recording. Once Drake is happy with his lyrics, he will hit the studio and this is where he begins recording with his producer and engineer. Drake is a very talented vocalist and he is known for his strong wordplay and conviction. I've been in this club too Step four, mixing. Once the vocals are recorded, it's time to mix. Drake likes to be a part of this process. He likes to make sure every detail is perfect down to the T. Step five, mastering. Mastering is very important to Drake. It helps round out the song and make it audio ready for all sorts of speakers and the radio. He makes sure that his songs are professionally mastered every time. What a good guy. Here's that bonus step I promised you guys at the beginning. Fast rap is not that appealing right now. It's like, you know, the artists that give you a chance to breathe and digest their words and use melody are like sort of on top right now. You talk about crews like that back in the day, that was like almost at the birth or the inception of hip hop. So anyone that could rap, period, was intriguing because it was like a new talent. It was a new brand of music. I think the rapper nowadays has to come with something more than just, I can rap. How come you get nervous when I talk about life, life? The life we'll spend together okay. How about a wedding? We'll bring every pound of the rice I'ma fly you out to Malaysia Have a wedding on the beach How does I seem? Show you off to my family They be proud of me Got a yellow shawty And she's speaking Chinese Hope you guys enjoyed that video I'll have this full song out soon enough I'm still working on it Trying to make a song like Drake Hit a like, subscribe for more vibes and more music Let's go! I'ma for you like pasta for me I'ma for you like for me